Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Yes, hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Yes. how are you tonight? At home, waiting for you. That's great, that's the attitude. How was your day? Actually, today wasn't busy. Today was a day relaxed. Wow, that's Seriously. a miracle. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, it is. Good for you. <laughs> like, Amazing. Like mini vacations. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> yes. Sounds good. That. Okay. Let's see. I can see Erica too. Hello, Erica. How do you feel? Hi. <laughs> uh huh. How are you? How do you feel? Mm, a little bit better. That's little bit great. Better. I'm happy to hear that. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Okay. Well, you are the only one with the camera on. Um, hello, everyone. Welcome to the class. It's Thursday. So, everyone, tomorrow, if everything goes well, tomorrow it will be our last day and then you will go to the intermediate four my goodness everyone excellent job just a reminder i was checking the platform and almost everybody already finished that's great good job however there are some people that uh, haven't finished uh, the last exam. So remember in the unit number four, we have the last exam, do it please. Um, some of you haven't finished the unit number four. So finished please that unit. Remember that basically everybody, ja, uh, we only have today and tomorrow, okay? So tomorrow basically is the last day okay so by tomorrow platform has to be done okay so if you have any question about the exercises just let me know okay so where is everyone i can see only six people oh my gosh hmm well i hope your classmates uh, join us soon you know I, I want to tell you something i adopted five cats today <laughs> they I mean I found them uh, they are orphans they don't have a mother and the vet said that is they only have like 10 days alive I mean so they are very very little is very small and I don't know what to do with them I have never had cats so young <laughs> so there were five but two of them, they will be sacrificed because they won't survive and I don't want them to suffer. So I only got three. If they survive, that I hope so, <laughs> uh, I, I will be very happy. So I, I best, I, I really hope that that happens. <laughs> so uh, wish me the best, all right? <laughs> so. I don't know what will happen, but yeah. Okay. Actually, the best actually, for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, my sister wants to adopt another cat. We have oh, three. Yeah, really? <laughs> yes. Imagine. But so. the... <laughs> I got three. <laughs> no, but yes. but the ones that I have, they are they are babies. I'm going to try to keep them alive for at least two months. Yeah, yeah. And after two months, I will need people to adopt them. So if they survive, Erica, I will let you know <laughs> if you still want the cut, okay? But yeah, poor yeah. babies. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's a girl or a boy? I don't know. <laughs> what happens because is... Because if it's a girl, it's a little bit... Um... It's complicated. Complicated. I know, Because I know. we have three, three, three boys. <laughs> yeah, actually, I prefer boys, but uh, yeah. I I'm not sure because <laughs> they are like very small. They are very delicate right now. So I, I'm just 
the vet is just giving them the medicine that they need, but I'm not sure if they are girls. For me, they look like rats, not like cats, but uh -huh. wish me the best. I, I hope that they will survive. <laughs> anyway. So, uh -huh. Can you tell me two months later and... I'm going to be there sure for one of them. thing. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's the idea because I need two months in order that they can be healthy and with the, all the vaccines that they need. And if they survive, yeah, I will, I will let you know. <laughs> and the rest of you, if you want a cat, <laughs> if they survive after two months, I will let you know. Okay. No, thank you. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> really, I don't like. Okay. Well, and you know, the funny thing is that I have a dog. And my dog, it was like a mom. He was there licking them. He was there protecting them. And I was like, okay, that's weird. <laughs> because my dog is a boy and, and is like a mama, like a, a mama dog. <laughs> so pretty nice. I like that. That was the most relevant information about my day, I think. <laughs> but hey, anyway. thank you for sharing. Yeah, I wanted to share it with you. So guys, if one day you have the opportunity to save or rescue an animal, do it, okay? We need good people doing good things. Anyway, we're going to start. Thank you so much for joining, guys. Thank you so much for being on time. Remember, we are about to finish this level. Can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes. 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 Okay, so today is April 27th. We are in the week five, unit four. Do you remember the topics that we studied yesterday? Debates. Yes. Ah, okay. We talk about debates. What else? Uh huh. Ha, huh, you don't remember. We talk, no, yes, we talk about uh, the, we continued about talking uh, CVs or interviews. Okay, very good. We oh, studied yeah. some phrases. Do you remember the phrases that we studied? How to be polite in a debate. Uh -huh. Good. If I want to explain something with clear words, what are some phrases that I can use? For example, I can say, in other words, what else? Simply put, in other words. Ah, very good. So those are clarified expressions. Okay, so if you remember, these are some of the examples that we checked yesterday. Like, let me explain that. Let me put it in another way. Or, sorry, let me explain. In other words, to say, uh, to say this differently or to put it differently, uh, simply put, that's it, or that it's a say, namely. So those are phrases that you can use if you want to clarify your own idea. These phrases are very useful especially when we are in a debate for, because in a debate you are explaining your point of view okay that was the topic that we studied yesterday so let's make a review i have this topic social media so again some of you will be in favor some of you will be against so what do you think Social media is good for the society or social media is bad for the society. So tell me, what do you think and why? But I want you to use the phrases, please. Okay? Uh -huh, everyone. 
What do you think? Social media is good or bad? Uh-huh. Tell me. In my opinion, social media is really good. Really good for our society. Because you can you can do business, you make business, you can make businesses make new friends keep a relationship with the other people who who have your your own interest interests mm -hmm. interests is that it's just that the the social media is is like a chain but uh but um Put out to everyone in a in the same line. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't know. It's my it's my point of view. You can you can do business as a mainly, and you you can use uh, in the bad way too. But social media using in the be in the best way is uh, really good, really useful, really amazing actually. Okay, sounds good. And how about you, anyone? Is anyone against? What do you think about social media? Uh huh. Mm, depends on the uses. Okay, could you explain me that? Okay, uh, I, I use a social media, but um, communicator is mm -hmm. right. And the other the case, um, uh, bad communication, news or or vi videos, este, eh, the the context, uh, um, como the sex, okay. violence, 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 mm -hmm. sex, violence, um, and the others. Uh, uh, Thai uh, prostitutions. Yeah, that's very negative, right? Right. Mm -hmm. In my in my opinion, depends on the use of the people. Oh, okay. Depends how the people use the social media. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. That's a good point. Anyone else? Social media is good for the society or is bad for the society? Any other comment? Remember, I want you to use the phrases. That's the idea. So try to use these phrases. In my opinion, teacher, let me explain that social media social media is good. It's good because you can make a friend like Magdalena says, and you can make a business or or a marketing. We talk about the marketing business, you can do it uh, through the social media. But I agree with uh, Ivan, Ivan because if you use uh, in negative form social media, obviously it's bad. But if you use uh, social media for business or for networking or for uh, make a friends or is 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 good, it's really good. Okay. In my in my opinion. Sounds good. So imagine, okay, depending on the use that we give them. So think about the age. What is the correct age or the appropriate age to use social media or to have access to the social media? What do you think? I think life. you first. Okay. You, Francisco. You first. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, I, in my opinion, uh, maybe like a beverage, like um, uh, alcohol, uh, mm -hmm. 18, 18, 18 years uh, and less uh, and older. Okay. Because it is for, for younger people. Is uh, it's not good for the um, opinion. It's like opinion the the Ivan 
de Iván. Is uh, it's very easy um como diría invadir o como um invade invade the the intim intimidad 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 um, eh, in eh, it's not good for the for the young main 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 because um they not have not have a the knowledge, el conocimiento, knowledge, 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 el knowledge for a front, uh, a front to face. A lot of information, information that is is very bad. I think it's uh, eighteen years old and older. Cool. Okay, eighteen years old, but less or younger? No. All right. So everybody. How about you? Do you agree? Do you think that 18 years old is, is the best age to access to social media? Or do you have another age? What do you think? Uh huh. Sorry, Anyone? but yes. sorry, I, I think that the age is depend that your your value or your parents, mm -hmm. because in that society that we live is is you don't have the control with the the people the the age people can use the 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 social media you don't have the control i think that the the most important at this moment because the technology uh, is very fast and advanced uh, with a, uh, a revolution that we can't imagine uh, i think that the value that you foment in your family or or because in in the school at the school or or at the street or with the friends they can, the the kids or the 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 children they can use easily mm -hmm. and it depends that your value or your parents a uh, supervisor this this content because and or the platform because google or facebook or uh, you can control uh, the device that you to children or or you can security you can uh, put the security and in, in the dispositive or in a tablet or in mobile that the, the children i think is, is my point of view i think that is because it's a re, it's a real real problem that we have at this time okay that makes sense and remember i mean as she said, it is very easy for children or teenagers to access, right? It's, it's easy. But imagine it depends. In some cases, I think that 18 is a good age, but it's almost impossible to keep teenagers out of social media. I mean, they want to enter because everybody is doing it. Hmm, very good job, very good job. Okay, don't forget to use these phrases. Remember, if you want to give examples, you can use namely. If you want to say it with simple words, simply put. Don't forget to say it. Now, I have another question. Look at this. Should animals be used in scientific testing? What do you think? Yes or no? And tell me why. But please use the phrases. Uh huh. Should animals be used in scientific testing? Yes or no? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Imagine to find, to find medicine, to see if the medicine works or not. First, this medicine is testing in, in some animals. So what do you think? Teacher. Uh-huh. Uh, this, this is that this uh, a bad decision, a bad... Uh, I don't know how do you say that, but the, the what I, the, <laughs> my, my tongue is, is playing with me. 
Okay. Okay. The situation is that, and in simple, in simple word, um, is a bad, but it, it is bad, but is ne necessary because where can where can prove medicine. Work and prove and the things I don't know. And the, in fact, we need the uh, proving animals. <laughs> Science needs that. <laughs> but how about if we give the opportunity to humans to choose? If you offer them money, there will be some people that they will accept. Or how about if we use the people that are in the, uh, I mean, <laughs> in prison and they have uh, a death penalty. So imagine if they accept to be tested. So what I do you think? I understand your, your point of view, but the, the, the problem is with the secondary, Effect. Is correct say that? What are you trying to say? Effectos secundarios. Side effects? Mm -hmm. Side effects? Side effects. Ah, side. The mm -hmm. side effect. That is a trouble. Imagine that some people who you, who, who you as a, a scientific pay for prove a medicine would uh, die. Is, um, <laughs> it is a higher price. I know. Because if a, if a little bunny died, it's, it's no problem. It's just a bunny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So anyone else, do you agree or not? Tell me your opinion. Should animal be used in scientific testing? For me, or teacher, not? yes. For I... me, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, Mirna and then Hector. Mirna, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, Hector. Uh, for me, yes, is in other words, it's a necessary evil. Okay. Because the this, this, this scientific need to testing in someone is the animal or in humans sometimes is necessary because they need to, to test in the the virus or the virus or or the I don't know the 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 they they need to improve in the medicine and they need to 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 testing is is to necessary test. to test yes they need to test and is the animal uh, is 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 a contradiction I think because some people I think that. I they love the animal. I I I love the animal, but it's unnecessary to for the scientific for the okay. science for the science. This is my opinion. Okay, very good, very good. Hector, what do you say? No, I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. Okay. Let, me, let me explain my my point. Mm -hmm. The, the question is, you said in scientific testing, no for medicine only testing. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if, if we we open the door for testing, scientific testing on or in teacher animal? On animal or? On or animals. In, or animal, uh, you, you open the door for different kinds of testing, maybe for, through uh, testing makeup, uh, ah. makeup, uh, I think is not is not necessary for the health of the people. Is not necessary for solve any problem. Uh, the uni humanity, 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 humanity. I I think is not. I, my my point is think about the COVID. For for me the the anti antiviral antivirus I don't know how to say it in English uh, antiviral no, no, I guess antiviral uh -huh, not testing in any animal mm -hmm. uh, for the emergency uh, put directly on the human human and the and the is is a solution as a solution no yes, it's solution. a solution for for this problem 
I never tried on animal, I think. Ah, maybe a lot, a lot of medicine is not necessary trying on animal, I think. It's not, uh, maybe we lost the humanity testing on animal without uh, opportunity for uh, defenderse, como sería? Defend? Defense itself, here, itself, I think it's not humanity, it's, 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 it's aberration. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Imagine if you think about this. Okay, um, there are some medicines that of course, they need to try it first on animals. And you say, but this is important because that medicine can save humans' lives. And you said, okay, so go ahead. But how about those experiments that maybe it's not for medicine maybe as he said it's maybe just for makeup so or other kind of experiments that is not so relevant for humans lives so i think that in that scenario maybe we should consider that the animals shouldn't be used in scientific testings right but that's a topic that can be considered like a little difficult to make a decision about it, okay? So the point of, uh, the point or the purpose for these questions, remember, we are trying to express our opinions. We are trying to clarify the, our ideas. So don't forget to use the phrases. Sometimes you say um, in uh, simple words, Okay, instead of saying simple words, here we got the phrases that you can use, okay? For example, ah, okay, instead of saying, for example, remember, we can say one of these words, okay? So let's try to use the vocabulary. If you don't use the vocabulary, you will forget it, okay? So be careful with that. Now, very good. Thank you so much for your opinion, guys. Then we are going to continue using the clarifying expressions. Now we are going to see the topic for tonight. And the topic is how to avoid double negatives. That's the topic that we are going to see tonight, how to avoid double negatives. But before that, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Um, let's see. Uh, give me a second. Okay, Carlos Abrego. Present. Okay. Uh, Christian Alexander. Present. Okay. Erika Jasmine. Present. Okay. Fatima Denise. Present. Okay. Uh, Gabriel Beltran. Okay. Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Okay. Isabel Hernandez. Present miss. Okay. Ivan Guzmán. Present. Okay. Eh, Jamie Raquel. Present teacher. Okay. Holman Girón. Present. Okay. Lucy Natalie. Present. All right. Magdaleno Escalante. Present. Okay. Um, Nelson Antonio. Okay. Oscar Armando. Present. Okay. Pamela Carolina. Pamela Carolina. Okay. Rosalina Alvarado. Present, Miss. Okay, very good. Selvin Adonai. Okay, and Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good, excellent. Okay, let's start that topic, double negative. This topic is not so complicated. It's a little bit simple, but we need to be very careful with it because this is one of the most common mistakes that the ones that are learning the language used to make. Okay, this is a very common mistake. So 
Uh, this is the class objective. We are just going to learn how to avoid the double negative in a sentence. Not only when we are writing, but when we are speaking, okay? To start with this topic, I want to, uh, I need some volunteers for reading. Who wants to read? Okay, I got Magdaleno, thank you. Who else? Me? Rosalina, thank you. Okay, let me open up. This is on your manuals and the page 36. So Rosalina, you will be Olivia. Magdaleno, you will be Leo. Go ahead. Uh, let me do it bigger. Go ahead. Okay, I'm trying to set an online business selling and made dresses but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. Magdaleno? Sorry, my microphone was... Uh, okay, go ahead. Um, you mean you don't know anything, Olivia? You start uh, to start you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it at last five times last week. My goodness. And uh, fix the spilling in your slogan, designing happiness, that's not correct. I never noticed nothing about the spelling mistake when I made it, but you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never noticed anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Thank you. Very good. So look at here. We have the same phrases that Olivia said, the same phrases said Leo. So, but what happens here? I don't know nothing or don't know anything. What is the difference in this phrase? Don't know nothing, don't know anything. What is the difference? Uh-huh. What is the Maybe difference? The, sub the subject the, when you use the nothing or anything or? Uh-huh, look, that is the phrase that changed everything. In one phrase, it says nothing, and in the other one says anything. Anything. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Which of these sentences do you think have the double negative? What do you think? My opinion is the first. The first one, Don't everybody, do you agree? ¿Cuál creen yes, que I lleva la double nothing. negative? I don't know. The nothing. second one. Anything? Anything or nothing? Anything, nothing. Anything. No. Anything. Okay. I think that is I don't know anything. anything. <laughs> Not, nothing nothing is know. nothing. <laughs> nothing <laughs> is nothing. I don't know nothing. Okay, so that is exactly what we are going to learn tonight how to identify the double negatives and avoid them, okay? First of all, we need to think, okay, but what are the negatives? We need to identify which words are negatives. We have different words that represent a negative sense. And one of the most common one is, First of all, the word not. If you have not in a sentence, automatically is negative, okay? Another phrase that is negative is the word never. If a sentence says the word never, that means negative. For example, I never drink coffee, you can think. That's negative, okay? Uh, the word no, negative, absolutely. Nowhere, also. 
Uh, when you say nobody, no one. So those are negative words. Nothing is negative words too. Another example. When we have negative words, okay, we have words that they are negative because automatically they have the word no, okay? The word neither, no, none, not, nothing, nowhere, nobody, no one. All of these ones are negatives. So if you have a sentence with one of these ones, the sentence is negative and you cannot combine. For example, if in a sentence you already have not, you cannot have another negative sentence. I'm going to give you an example. I can say, there is not, okay, I have one negative word. And then I say, there is not nobody at home. Nobody is negative, yes or no? Yeah. Yes, right? So how many negative words do I have in this sentence? Two. Two. And that is what we cannot do in English. We cannot put more than two negative words in one sentence. It's not possible. Okay? Another examples of negative words are song modifiers. For example, barely, hardly, never, rattly, scarcely. So you cannot combine these words with these ones in the same sentence. For example, imagine if I say, um, Scarcely nobody went to the party. How many negative sentences do I have there? Mm -hmm. Sure, sorry. Yes. What does that mean? Scarce, scarcely? Scarcely. Have you ever scarcely. seen that word, everyone? No? Google said apenas. Exactly. It's like very little or very few amount. So it's like apenas, escasamente, limitado, right? So imagine if I say scarcely nobody, apenas, I mean, in Spanish makes sense for us because we can say apenas nadie llegó a la fiesta, right? Sometimes that's the way we talk. But in English, we cannot have the two words. Look, I have negative here, negative here. It's not possible. Teacher, teacher. Yes? Uh, what, is, what is different in the, in the word nobody? Um, no one. There is no difference. It's just the same. In the mm. translation and in the meaning, it's just the same. Nobody and no one, everybody is the same. Mm -hmm. No changes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. It's the same when we say somebody, someone, it's the same. There is no difference. All right, imagine if I say another example. I hardly never use the cell phone. How many negative words do I have in this sentence? Ooh, hardly and never. Ah, so I cannot put two negative words in the same sentence. It's considered a mistake, okay? So that is what we have to avoid, okay? Look. I have two negative sentences in one word, and that is not possible. 
So the first thing that you have to do if you want to learn this topic is you have to identify the negative words, okay? Another negative words, all the contractions or all the negative contractions are considered negative, okay? So uh, you can say, for example, I can't, uh, sorry, let me change the color. I can't eat nothing. How many negative words do I have in that sentence? Two. I can't eat nothing. Aha, uh -huh, I have two. I got the first one that is can't. Mm -hmm. And the second negative word is? Nothing. Nothing. I can't eat nothing. So two negative words. That is the rule. I cannot have two double negative words in the same sentence. Clear, everyone? Yes. Good. Now, but what can we do? Okay. Imagine the double negative means using two negative in one phrase or in one sentence. Like, Mr. Martin is not boring. Mm, we cannot say this. I have two negatives, so this is incorrect. Ah, that hardly doesn't matter. Never. Ah, you can't never know. So, but what can we do? If I have negatives in one sentence, how can we change it? And that is what we are going to see tonight. How can we avoid them? Okay. So these are other examples. And these are very common phrases. For example, I don't want nothing. I didn't say nothing. I don't understand nothing. Very common phrases. Ah, they never help no one. Mm -mm. Double negatives. Be careful. No solo las palabras que empiezan con no son las negatives. Not really. Look, never is considered negative too. At the same as hardly or barely. Ellos no tienen la palabra no. But even though they are considered negatives, it's the same with neither. No está la palabra no en neither, but the meaning of this sentence is negative. Okay, so be careful, be careful. You have to identify the negative words. Now, let's see some examples and let's see what can we do to avoid this time of mistakes. So look at the first example. We don't publish nothing unrelated to the benefits of our product. Para evitar, guys, and pay attention here. If you want to avoid the double negatives, this is the secret. You have one negative, the other negative. What you have to do is just change one of this. Una de las palabras negativas se tiene que ir. Okay? Lo que tenemos que hacer is basically una de las negatives, ustedes decidan, puede ser don't o nothing, tienen que cambiar a positiva. Yo tengo que tener esas oraciones. Una de esas dos frases que están en negative, una de ellas se tiene que convertir a positive. ¿Cuál? It's up to you. So normally the ones that we change is the second, this one. But you can always, I mean, if you want, you can change the first one too. So what will be the answer here? Okay. Instead of saying we don't publish nothing, ya no vamos a usar nothing. Vamos a usar, look, anything. The meaning 
is the same. The translation is the same. However, anything is not considered a negative word. Ok? So, si tenemos la palabra nothing, esa palabra es negative. Lo que tenemos que hacer es reemplazarla por la palabra anything. Ok? Keep in mind that. The same with nobody. Si yo tengo nobody, ¿por qué palabra creen que la puedo reemplazar? For anybody. Exactly. For anybody. If I have the word no one, hmm, which word can I use? Anyone. Correct. Simple as that. Okay, imagine if I have the word nowhere. I need to replace it for? Anywhere. Exactly. And so on and so on. So the words that use any, these ones are not considered negatives. Okay? So you can replace it. That's why instead of saying we don't publish nothing, we can say we don't publish anything. Imagine if I say there is not no one at home. How can I say these sentences without the double negatives? There is not no there is not, any no. anyone at home. Ah, there is not anyone at home. There is not anyone at home. Simple. Now, that is one option, ¿ok? Y es la más común. Normalmente la palabra que cambiamos es la segunda. El auxiliary normalmente se mantiene, ¿ok? Lo que cambiamos maybe is the complement, but no the auxiliary. However, we can change the auxiliary to. Instead of saying there is not, bueno, pongamos otro ejemplo. Imagine if I say, I don't eat nothing. Ok, ya sabemos que la primera opción es cambiar el nothing por un anything. La segunda opción es cambiar el auxiliary. Instead of saying, I don't eat nothing. Remember, la regla dice, tenemos que deshacernos de una de las palabras que están en negatives. Así que, Quitemos el auxiliary y digamos solo, I eat nothing. ¿Cómo traducimos la primera oración? I don't eat nothing. Yo no comí nada. That's it. ¿Cómo traduzco la siguiente oración? No comí nada, yo no comí nada. So, in this case, is the same, yes or not? Yes. Yeah. Is the same is. meaning? Yes, it's the same meaning. So again, aquí ustedes deciden, o me dicen, I eat nothing, or I don't eat anything. Pero de que una de las palabras en negative se tiene que ir, yes. Is it clear? ¿Se entiende cómo las podemos cambiar de negative a positive? The words, yes. A little Basi bit. Basically, basically, it's a it's a change uh, the negative contracts in in presence. Actually, not only in presence, we can do everything. No. Uh, this in all the grammar tenses. The key teacher is that the any the any the the words any. Yes. This is the the key. Mm -hmm. Basically, what we are doing is replacing. The no by any. any. Or if you want, what you can do is remove the auxiliary in negative and keep it simple, like in affirmative sentence. Ojo, no podemos quitar las dos en negatives, porque si ya ustedes me dicen, I eat, y nos quedamos hasta ahí, I eat anything, 
Mm, uh, eat anything. No. Ajá. No que ahí mí, es como. Cualquier... <risas> aquí, I eat anything. No, really. Ahí sí ya no se puede. Ok, tampoco podemos quitar las dos in negatives. Eso sí, no. Right? So be careful with that. Ok, veamos otro ejemplo. Let's see another example. Sentence number two. The company, look, didn't get no additional sales. What is the grammar tense in this sentence? What is the grammar tense? Present, past, future? Present, past. Present, past? past? past ah, get, get. isn't past, exactly. Look. Didn't is a negative word. What is the other negative word? No. Exactly. No. no. So how can we change this sentence with the correct structure? Okay, dejemos el didn't, pero el no lo vamos a cambiar por un any. Any. Mm -hmm. Or the other way. ¿Qué pasa si yo quiero colocarla de otra forma? Yo quiero cambiar el auxiliary. ¿Cómo quedaría la oración? The company. Quitamos el auxiliary que es en negative. Dejamos el verbo. Pero como la oración es en pasado, ¿cómo va a ir el verbo? En paz. En pasado. ¿Por qué? Porque ya no tengo el auxiliary. Ahí sí tienen que fijarse. So the company got la palabra en negative. No additional da, 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 da. ok, look esas son las dos opciones que ustedes tienen guys so ahí ustedes deciden if you want to change the word no for any or you can remove the auxiliary negative but y es por eso que a veces se vuelve difícil quitar el auxiliary si la oración está en pasado Recuerden, si ustedes quitan el auxiliary, el verbo tiene que ir en pasado, porque ya no está el auxiliary. All right. ¿Se entiende esta parte? Yes. A little bit. I, under, I understood that, that you want, that, that you are trying to explain to us, yes, what... When when expression have no change for any mm -hmm. simple simple put is that yeah basically remember if you feel that that's the way that easy for you great do it like that it for you is easy to remove the auxiliary and keep the word no okay keep it like that aquí es la que a ustedes les funcione más Okay, so I'm explaining la segunda opción, I'm explaining the second option, because could be, algunas veces ustedes se van a topar con ese tipo de oraciones. Van a ver oraciones que digan como, hey, I understand nothing. Or, hey, I said nothing. So, van a toparse con oraciones así. Y es como que, ¿y por qué? ¿Por qué no usan el auxiliary? I didn't say anything, right? So it's because of that. Lo que estamos haciendo es tratar de evitar las double negatives. Así que, <clears throat> again, ustedes deciden. O me quitan la, la palabra no y me la cambian por any. Or me quitan el auxiliary y dejamos la palabra no. ¿Ok? Let's see the last example. Volunteer for reading, the experts. I want to read. Yes, go ahead, yeah. the experts. The first or the second? Ah, first. The first one. The expert, experts, never said nothing about the drastic change of image, of image in our product. Thank you. What are the negative words Word. here? Nothing. 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 And never. Okay. So, pay attention here. Aquí sucede lo mismo. Podemos cambiar la palabra nothing, ya sabemos, por un anything. Or 
podemos cambiar la palabra never, pero ¿cuál es la palabra positiva para never? Do you know that? Is ever. Yes. That is the one. So look, podemos decir the experts ever said nothing. Or the experts never say anything. So, aquí lo que tienen que hacer, y eso es lo que es un poquito difícil, and I'm explaining this in Spanish para que quede así como que bien claro este topic, because I know that it's a little bit complicated. Hay que aprendernos, hay, hay que aprender a identificar. Tenemos que saber identificar cuáles son las negative words y cuáles son las palabras que podemos usar para sustituir esas negative words. Ok, so the most important, cuando tengamos palabras como nothing, no one, nobody, nowhere, ya sabemos que esas simplemente se reemplazan por un any. Mm. Palabras como never, simplemente decimos ever. Hay otra palabra que es muy común y es neither. ¿Cuál sería la positive de neither? Either. Exactly. Very good. So, you decide. Esas son las palabras. Tenemos que irnos aprendiendo con qué palabras podemos ir reemplazando las double negatives. ¿Ok? Yes, everyone. Yes, teacher. Uh, it is clear. Ok. Yes. But it's more common change any uh, or use any in, in English or because the other way or the other form is or it's a little difficult, I think. Actually, well, be honest with you, both are common. I have heard both of them, but my recommendation is Use the one that is easier for you, ¿ok? Con la práctica, ya cuando nos sentimos más confiados, más seguros con nuestro inglés, créanme que después ustedes solitos cambian y ya nos atrevemos a hacer el cambio del auxiliary o de la otra palabra. Pero ahorita, si ustedes sienten que lo más fácil es cambiar lo segundo, que es anything, I mean, do it. Aquí es la que a ustedes se les haga más fácil y la que a ustedes les funcione. Ok. Let's do a practice. We are going to have a lot of practice tonight so you can feel more confidence with this topic. Look, I have some questions and I have the answers and you have to choose the correct answer. Imagine if I ask you, do you want anything? What do you think is the best answer? No, I don't want nothing or I don't want anything. What do you think is the best option? Anything. Nothing. Anything. Anything. Okay. Anything. That is the correct one. Because how many uh, negative words do we have? Look, I have don't here. Nothing is negative. So, no podemos decir, no, I don't want nothing. Mm -mm. We cannot say that. Right? So, the correct one is, I don't want anything. Now, pay attention here. Puntuation is very important. If you see in this sentence, I have the word no. And what happens after the word no? ¿Qué tengo ahí? Coma. A coma. The coma is separating the sentences. Si esa coma no estuviera, tuviera tres negatives. No, don't, and nothing. That is not possible. Okay? So, punctuation is important. Now, look at the second sentence. Do you have any money? What is the best answer? No, I don't have none. Or no, I have none. Have no. I, I have, have none. none. I have none. Are you sure? 
Yes, sure. Yes. Yes. Correct. In this case, remember the word non that is negative. Okay? So we cannot combine them. Number three, volunteer for reading the question, please. Me, teacher. Yeah, I, thank you. Did you see those, those people? No, I didn't see anyone. Do you agree, everybody? I didn't see yes. anyone? Yes. Yes, definitely. So if you say, I didn't see no one, mm -mm, we have double negatives in that sentence. Volunteer number four, please. Yes, please. Do you have any candy? No, I don't have any. Do you agree, everybody? Yes, yes, yes. I don't have any or I don't have none. Any. 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 Correct. correct. Any. Okay, now, question. Digamos que a mí me gusta la palabra none. Y yo quiero usar esta palabra, ¿ok? So, none. Esta quiero usar. ¿Cómo podría quedar la oración si yo quiero usar la palabra none en lugar de any? I have none. Correct. No. Very good job. In that case, si yo quisiera usar la palabra none, tengo que remover el don't. Mm -hmm. Y diríamos, I have none. Very good job. Excellent. Okay, volunteer for reading the last one, please. Volunteer. Could I, yes, could please. I, didn't he tell you not to come here? Didn't he tell you not to come here? Mm -hmm. No. Um, nobody told me anything. All right, do you agree everybody? Nobody told me anything or anybody told me anything? Nobody. 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 Ah, very good. So we will say, nobody told me anything. Great job. <sighs> so if you see everyone, it's not so difficult to identify the double negatives. Okay, it's not so difficult. And you just have to replace it. When you see negative sentences, okay, I need to remove one of these ones. I need to change it for, for a positive word. Clear, everybody? Easy or difficult, this topic? What do you think? Easy, difficult, 50-50? Interesting. Aha, -50? uh -huh, okay, that's good. The rest of you, Can what do you I think? Come yes? Uh, when uh, I found a series in Gates of Thrones, mm -hmm. and this in this series, a uh, uh, um, a personaje, a character, uh, uh, yes, uh, always say uh, in 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 Spanish. Tú no sabes nada. In the, in the translation said, you know nothing. And always I think, why? Why is, <laughs> is that? Very <laughs> but, good. Uh, but today I understand it. why. <laughs> Excellent. So everyone, you see, that's why it's, it's something positive that you watch movies or series in English because you can learn phrases. So that is a very clear example because you say, you know nothing. How many negative words do I have in that sentence? Only one. Nothing. But imagine que yo no quiero usar nothing, yo quiero usar anything. ¿Cómo quedaría la oración? You? Didn't. You don't know anything. Okay, in simple present. You? No. Don't. Exactly. You don't. you don't know anything. Okay? So that's the idea. We need to change the phrases. We need to avoid the double negatives. Okay? 
Now, let's continue. We are going to have another practice. I got these sentences. I want you to choose the correct word to complete each sentence. So for example, in the first one, there aren't ta -ta 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 -ta, rules left to break. So you have to decide, mm, there aren't no rules or there aren't any rules. So I will give you, let's see, I will give you three minutes, read the sentences, analyze the sentences, and then I will ask him one by one to see the answers, okay? Read the sentences and analyze them. Three minutes, go ahead. Read carefully, everyone. We need to decide what will be the correct phrase. If you have questions about the words, tell me one more minute and then I will be asking one by one. Okay, ready? Yes. I will be asking one by one. Let me see. The first one will be for Ivan. Okay, Ivan, read the sentence number one with the correct answer. Go ahead. Okay. There aren't any rules left to break. Okay. Everybody, do you agree? There aren't any rules? Yes. Yes. Yeah, very good. Ivan, pick someone, please. Okay, let me see. Rosalina. Okay, Rosalina, can you read the number two? Oh my goodness, Ivan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. The new job did not offer any non 
of the perks she was hoping for. Okay, the new job did not offer any of the perks she was hoping for. Okay, any? Yeah. All right, everybody, what do you think? Do you agree? Yes. 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 Definitely. You. If you see, right now. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Rosalina is like, <gasps> yeah. It's hard this topic, but it's nice. You teach us. I know. I know it's a little bit complicated. And you know why? The reason is that in Spanish, I mean, for us, it's, it's not a rule. Nosotros mm -hmm. en español hablamos como caiga, right? Yeah. We can say, <laughs> No comí nada. So how many negatives? No nadita, comí nadita. Yeah, no comí nada, nadita. <laughs> or imagine, yeah. we can even say, nunca he comido nada. So yes. imagine, so yes, ponemos double negatives in a sentence. And for mm -hmm. us in Spanish, it's not a mistake. Por eso es que nos cuesta este topic in, in, in English, yes. because in Spanish is different. Pero de que se puede, se puede. So we can do it. <laughs> temas, yeah. más, temas más difíciles hemos superado, everyone. <laughs> okay? Yes. So don't you can up. do it. You can do I it. I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Okay, Rosalina, pick someone. Mirna. <laughs> okay, Mirna, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Now of the woman. Women, women, no, no of the women noticed, noticed when the dog ran away. Okay, everybody, do you agree? Yes, definitely. Yes. If you see, I have negative word here, none. So I don't need more negative words. Excellent. Mirna, pick someone, please. Fatima. Fatima, number four. Can you read it, please? The driver couldn't find a place to park. Okay. Guys, what do you think? Is that correct? Yes. 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 Very good. Okay, Fatima, pick someone. Mm. Holman. Holman, can you read the number five, please? Uh, uh, Frank didn't mention either the book report or the, the kills piece. Okay, so this sentence is a little bit longer than the other ones. So look, Frank didn't mention either the book report or the quiz. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. I believe, I think that in the second, I use nor, nor. So you think that is either and then nor? Nor. Okay. Anyone? How about you? What do you think? Uh, I'm confused with this word, teacher. Nor is in Spanish the traduction is ni. Mm -hmm. Yes. For example, is I don't like neither Coca Cola nor Pepsi. So no me gusta la Coca Cola ni la Pepsi. But the problem oh. is that we cannot put double negatives. Okay. Okay. So look. It's or. Uh -huh. It's or. Um. Okay, yes. I'm, I'm confused in, in nor word. Okay, nor is negative. Me, yes. me is negative. Exactly. Okay, thank you. So in this case, everyone, something that you have to remember is neither es pareja con no. nor. Either es pareja con or. or. Okay, so they are like couples. They go together. So in this case, I have already a negative word here, didn't. So I cannot use either. I have to use either. So si yo tengo either, ¿cuál es la pareja de either? 
or. 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 En el caso de que yo quitara el auxiliary y yo quisiera decir neither, in that case, ¿cuál es la pareja de neither? Nor. Nor. Exactly. Okay, thank so, you. Thank you, teacher. You're very welcome. So, again, this topic is a little bit complicated, especially if you don't recognize the negative words. Por eso es que hay que aprendernos, hay que aprender a identificar cuáles son las palabras negatives. Y no siempre las palabras negatives llevan implícita la palabra no. ¿Ok? Si se fijan, neither, no lleva la palabra no. Right? We know that it's negative because we memorized the meaning of that word. So, keep in mind that. ¿Ok? So, How many correct answers? Imagine si este hubiera sido su examen. Good job. All the answers correct. Very nice job. Very nice job. Okay, let's have another practice. Now, I will show you some sentences. You have to identify the negatives and rewrite the sentences in the affirmative form. For example, look at the number one. He doesn't have no sisters. The first thing that you have to do is identify the negative words. ¿Cuáles son las negative words in this sentence? Doesn't and no. Okay, doesn't and no. Now you have to rewrite the sentence in the correct form. ¿Cómo quedaría esta oración? He doesn't have any sisters. Okay, he doesn't have any sisters. Do you agree, everybody? I think yes. he, is, he doesn't have sisters. Has, sorry, teacher, has because the he doesn't has? No. No, because he no, doesn't. Because... Yeah. Ah. Oh, oh, it's in the in the yeah, it's in the normal, it's in the normal form. Have yes, exactly. Well, you use auxiliary. Okay, correct. He doesn't have no sister. He doesn't any. any. Correct. So in this case, mm -mm, we cannot change it. Mm -hmm. We have the auxiliary. Si ustedes le quitaran el auxiliary, entonces sí tendríamos que decir he has no sisters. Because that is the other option. He has no sisters. ¿Por qué diríamos has? Porque ya no tenemos el auxiliary. Okay? So everyone, I'm going to give you five minutes because I want to everybody do the exercise. First, identify the negatives. Yes? Con the first, I, I listen to the movies. Mm -hmm. Don't use any, just have sister. Like how? He doesn't like have he sisters? He doesn't have sisters. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at this. What happens, and, and this is a topic that, no sé si lo vieron cuando vieron los um, plural, singulars, countables, and uncountable nouns, allá cuando iban por beginners en los primeros niveles, right? Listen, we can say just like, he doesn't have sisters. Eso es lo que hemos aprendido, right? A nosotros en español, eso nos queda bien. Eh, she doesn't have sisters. ¿Tiene sentido esa oración, sí o no? Yes yeah. or not? Yes, it makes sense. Right? What happens is technically and grammatically, if you want to add the negative form, we can add any. Right? Sucede lo mismo cuando decimos, I have some apples. Pero en negative sería, I have any apples. Or I have no apples. Now, ¿de qué tiene sentido si ustedes me dicen solo, she doesn't have sisters? Yes, totally. Y no habría ningún problema. ¿Ok? Sí tiene sentido. La, lo ideal es quitar las double negatives. Ahora, si le quieren quitar la palabra any, I mean, ¿tiene sentido? Yes. 
but si la oración la lleva implícita, ahorita se lo vamos a dejar. Ok. Now, continue. You have five minutes. Read the sentences. First, identify the negative words. And then, rewrite the sentence in the correct form. Ustedes elijan cuál van a usar. Si le van a cambiar por any or if you want to remove the auxiliary. I don't know. Utilicen la que se les haga más fácil. You have five minutes and then I will be asking individually again. Okay, go ahead. If there is a word that you don't know or if you have a question, if you don't understand a sentence, tell me and I will help you. You have five minutes. Go ahead. If you have a question, just let me know, please. Read carefully the sentences. Remember, we need to remove the double negatives. If you have a question, just let me know. You have three more minutes. You know, I have that with the last one uh -huh. because uh, the word uh, following the negative word is good. It is the same rules, it's equal. Mm, but do you think that good is positive or negative? Good is positive. So what are the negatives? 
Well. Mm, no, in this sentence, what are the negative words? Aren't and no. So, do I need to change the word good? What do you think? Okay, uh, the situation is that we have weren't, mm -hmm. weren't, and we have no. Mm -hmm. If I omit the, the word no, I have to add any, or it's not necessary? It's not necessary. In this case, it's like the example that your classmate said. We can say he doesn't have sisters. So in that sentence, it's not necessary to add the word any. We can just remove it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. But teacher, if you, if if you, if I have if I have any, is correct too? Mm, it or makes. Maybe. I mean, makes sense. Yes, but it's not in this type of sentences. It's not totally necessary, but you can do it. You decide. You can add any or you can just remove the word not. You decide. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, everybody. Are you ready? Did you finish? Yes. Okay, I'm going to I'm start ready. asking. All right, I'm going to start asking. The first one will be for da -da 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 -da. Jamie. Hello, Jamie. Are you there? Hello. <laughs> okay. Yes. Tell me the uh, correct answer in the next sentence. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> We, I, I, we did uh -huh. nothing for my birthday this year. Okay, we did nothing for my birthday this year. Okay, everybody, what do you think? Is that correct? It's correct. The second way that you said mm -hmm. omitting the, the auxiliary and putting the verb in past tense because the, the structure is in past tense. Correct. So this is one of the options. We did nothing for my birthday this year. Did you have any other option? Everyone, did any uh, write this sentence in a different way? I have a different. Go oh, ahead. She said, she, she... Uh huh. What is the other form? Anyone? We didn't do anything. Ah, we didn't do anything for my birthday this year. So both are correct. We did nothing or we didn't do anything. Aquí es la que ustedes prefieran, la que para ustedes sea más fácil. Very good. Okay, Jamie, pick someone. De los que no han participado, please. Pick someone. Okay. Mm. Isabel Hernández. Thank you. Isabel, can you tell me the answer for the next one? Yes. Um, she didn't show nobody at the park. Okay, she didn't. Can you repeat? So. So. Nobody at the park. Okay. At uh, the park. <laughs> Okay, let's identify the negative words. ¿Cuáles son las negative words en esta oración? To. Didn't. Didn't. Y what else? Didn't. Nobody. 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 And nobody. Okay. ¿Cuál de estas dos vamos a quitar? Didn't or nobody. Elijan. Didn't. Uh, in, the, in the case nobody, uh, uh, switch nobody, anybody. 
Ok, we can do that. Quitemos nobody. Vamos a remover el no y en lugar del no lo vamos a cambiar a una palabra positive. In this case, it would be anybody. She didn't saw anybody. In this case, because I still have the auxiliary, I don't need to do changes in the verb. Remember, el verbo va a cambiar si ustedes quitan el auxiliary. Pero si no quitamos el auxiliary, the verb is still the same. So you can say, she didn't see anybody at the park. Or you can say, she saw nobody at the park. Okay? Esas son las dos opciones. O me utilizan el didn't, pero me le cambian a anybody. She didn't see anybody. Or me quitan el auxiliary. She saw nobody. Clear? Yes. Isabel, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Hector Francisco. Thank you. Okay, Hector, can you tell me the answer in the next one? Yes, teacher, I can. There isn't any way to solve this problem. All right. There isn't any way to solve this problem. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Correct. Very good. Hector? Pick, uh, pick one of your classmates, please. Okay. Um, me, Lucy. Thank you. Okay, Lucy, can you tell me the answer in the next one? I'm sorry, teacher, I don't have the answer. Okay, no worries. Uh, anyone, can you help her? Identify the negatives. ¿Cuáles son las palabras en negative en esta oración? ¿Cuáles wasn't. son las negatives? Wasn't. Okay, tenemos no. wasn't and wasn't. Nowhere. No, nowhere. Exactly. So, ¿qué es lo primero que tenemos que hacer? Identifiquemos las negatives. Una vez que identifiquemos las negatives, solo hay que cambiarlas. Cambiemos la palabra nowhere. ¿Cuál es la palabra positiva para nowhere? Anywhere. 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 So, what would be the answer? My mom... Uh -huh. wasn't wasn't was anywhere wasn't anywhere, anywhere near, the near the school okay so remember the steps identifiquemos primero las double negatives y tenemos que decidir cuál de ellas se va okay that's it simple okay um volunteer for the last one what will be the answer Fisher, i have a question Yes, go ahead. Uh, we can say my mom was mm, no. nowhere. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. My mom was nowhere near the school. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Volunteer to answer the last one, please. The singer weren't good this year, or the singer weren't any good this year. Exactly. In this type of sentence, anyone, the word any is optional. Okay. So you can say the singers weren't any good this year, or the singers weren't good any years. That's it. The difference, everybody, cuando usamos la palabra any, nos ayuda a hacer un poquito más de énfasis, right? In the word. That's all. So, in this topic, again, everybody, the clear, or I mean, the key, la llave, the clue, the, the important point is, first, identify the double negatives. Identifiquen las dos palabras que están señalando negative words. And then, Make a decision. You have to switch one of them. You have to change one of those negatives. Is it clear? Yes, clear as horchata, clear as a, a tamarindo juice, <laughs> clear as water. Jamaica juice. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. Wow. Carajo Cara juice. Carajo juice. <laughs> okay, no way. Well, let's have an exam. Yay! Oh my God. No. <laughs> I know, yo sé que esta es su parte favorita. It's your favorite moment oh. during the class, right? <laughs> Excuse me, teacher. I, I, I have a, a... Ah, you gotta <laughs> go. Uh -huh. Yeah, sure. No. I, gotta, I gotta go. Not excuses. I'm sorry. Okay, now, listen. It's not an exam. It's just a, an exercise. So you can prove if you really understood the topic or not. I'm going to give you 10 sentences and you just have to choose what is the correct word to complete the sentence, okay? Um, this is a website, okay? And if you want to practice this topic mm -hmm. later, I mean, I'm going to send you the link. Here we got a little explanation, some examples, but it's not so clear. It's a little bit complicated the way that they explain it. So. Me interesa el ejercicio, okay? So open up the link, scroll down, and here we got the sentences. So look at the number one says, no one, da -da 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 -da, come to your home if you had a party. So you have to decide, no one would come or no one wouldn't come. So, Ustedes deciden, what do you think the correct answer is? Okay, so 10 sentences. And at the end, you just have to click here in check answers. And ahí les va a decir if your answer is correct or not. Okay, at the end, it's not necessary uh, to send a screenshot. I mean, I'm not asking you to take a screenshot and tell me how many correct answers you had. Not really, this is a practice. I just want you to practice y ver que de verdad entendieron el topic or not, okay? So I'm sending the link on WhatsApp's group. Also, I'm going to send it here in the chat. So open up the link, everybody, and complete the sentences. Imagine that this is an exam. Okay, that's what I want. Imagine that this is an exam, so do your best. Try to answer the best as you can. Try to get a 10, okay? For this practice, you got, hmm, I will give you 10 minutes because we have 10 sentences, okay? So everyone, you have 10 minutes. Go ahead. If you have a question, just let me know. Después les voy a preguntar how many answers correct you have, okay? So complete the exercise, everyone.
If you have a question, just let me know everyone. Remember, imagine that this is an exam. So try to answer the best as you can. All right, I can see some of your classmates already finished. And I can see very good results. Excellent, very good guys, very good job. Very good, I like this. Very good, very good. Everybody complete the exercise, please. Read carefully. Remember, the first thing that you have to do is identify the double negative. Then identify which one do you want to change. Very good. I can see very good answers. I like that. If you have a question, just let me know, please. Excellent job, very good, very good. You still have time, everyone. For the one who hasn't finished, you still have time, no worries. If you have a question, just let me know, please. Teacher, I have one of them wrong. What is the With number? Neither and either. Uh, the number seven, if I uh, if I am. Um, yes, number seven. Well. Yes. Steve nor Bill wanted to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, when everybody finished, I'm going to explain that sentence, okay? Okay. Okay, everyone, complete the sentences, please. And I can see some people got mistakes in that sentence. Be careful. But I'm going to explain that, okay? Two more minutes for the one who hasn't finished. Send it, please. Okay. What happens in the sentence number seven? I'm going to explain that. So everybody pay attention here. Uh, let me open up the exercise. Okay. If you see, we have, well, in the six, in the sentence number six, we also have either and neither, but here is easy. I didn't, so I have negative word. What is the correct answer in the number six? Either or neither? I have a negative word. Either. It's either. Either, either. perfect. What happens in the sentence number seven? And please, here, don't get confused. Previously, I told you, ¿cuál es la pareja del either? Mm -hmm. It's or. 
To snore. ¿Y cuál es la pareja del neither? Nor. 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 So I, I mentioned some minutes ago that they are like a couple. They go together. So, in this case, si ustedes me utilizan neither, aquí tengo nor. No cuenta como una double negative. ¿Por qué? Porque ellos son como una couple. Complement. And they go together. So, the correct answer in the number seven is neither. Aquí no podemos usar either y decir either Steve nor Bill wanted to go. Mm -mm, no. Teacher, teacher, what is translation this this sentence? In the number seven? Yeah. Okay. Remember that neither is como decir ni. Ni, ni Steve, Steve, ni Bill, Bill quisieron ir. Mm -hmm. Neither es como decir ni. Ni este, ni el otro. Right? And the word either is different. Es como decir, o este, o el otro. All right? That is the difference. But in this case, la palabra nor no cuenta como una double negative, porque estos son como una couple. They go together. If in this sentence hubiésemos tenido un auxiliary, like didn't, for example, Si hubiésemos tenido la palabra didn't, por ejemplo, didn't want to go, ahí sí hubiésemos tenido que modificarlo. Pero no tendríamos que haber modificado solo neither. Tendríamos que haber modificado ambos. Tendríamos que haber dicho either or Bill, I mean, either Steve or Bill didn't want to go. Pero ahí cambiamos las dos. Remember, esas son como unas couples. They go together. That's why in the number seven, the correct answer is neither. ¿Se entiende el porqué de esta oración, everyone? Yes? It's clear now. Excellent. Any questions about this exercise? How was the exercise? Easy or difficult? What do you think? Teacher, in, mm -hmm. in the case, the sentence number three, Number? Number three. Okay, let me open up. He was uh -huh. put in high even from his with was. In my case, uh, it's a wrong. The, 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 the correct uh, answer is never, uh, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't understand. Okay, let me open up the exercise again. The number three, you said. Yeah. Okay, let's read the sentence. He was put in jail even jail. though he guilt was da, 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 proven. Okay, first of all, remember the steps. Identifiquemos las dos negatives. ¿Cuáles son las negatives en esta oración? Was. Was. Is negative was? Um, no. No, no, no. Not really. It's past. It's past. Okay. Mm -hmm. ¿Podemos identificar alguna negative in this sentence? No. No. No, really. Aquí no tengo negatives. Por eso no hay ningún problema en usar el never. Never. So, never. his guilt was never proven. Hubiese sido diferente si yo hubiese tenido acá un wasn't. ¿Qué pasa si hubiese dicho wasn't? ¿Cuál hubiese sido la respuesta correcta? In this case, Either. Either. ever. Either. So ever. his guilt wasn't ever proven. Ahí sí. Pero como en esta oración no teníamos negatives, so the correct answer is never. No problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Any other questions, everyone, about it? Easy or difficult, this exercise? What do you think? Uh -huh. Easy, difficult, 50-50? 50-50. Okay. But look, I can see very good results. Si ese hubiese sido su examen, I mean, good. You got 
gotten a very good score. Very good job. Okay, before continue, I'm going to check attendance again. So you know what to do when you listen to your name, say present. Carlos Abrego. Present. Very good. Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Erika Jasmine. Erika Jasmine. Okay. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Okay. Gabriel Beltran. Gabriel Beltran. Okay, very good. Um, Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Very good. Isabel Hernandez. Present miss. Good. Uh, Ivan Guzman. Present. Okay. Jamie Raquel. Present. Okay. Holman Giron. Holman Giron. Okay. Lucy Natalie. Present. Very good. Magdalena Escalante. Present. Okay. Nelson Antonio. Okay. Oscar Armando. Present. Okay, very good. Pamela Carolina. Rosalina Alvarado. Present. And Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Okay, very good. Well, we don't have a lot of time, but it's time to prove if you understood the topic or if you copied the answer. I have here some sentences and you have to tell me what would be the correct sentence. Of course, you have to identify if we have double negatives and you have to tell me the correct one. Okay, the boys will be the first one. So boys, tell me a number, please. Uh-huh, boys, give me a number. Number five. Okay, I heard number five. Now, pay attention. You have only 30 seconds to answer, okay? Mm. She didn't see. She didn't see anything at the park. Okay. These are the clue. Aquí están las pistas. She didn't see anybody or she didn't see nobody at the park. She didn't see anybody, anybody Any, at the park. Anybody. Are you sure? Yes. 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 <laughs> Good job, boys. Okay, girls, it's your turn. Give me a number. Girls, give me a number quickly, please. <clears throat> number two. Number two. Uh huh. Barber didn't bring any cookies. Any cookies? Are you sure? Yes. All right. Good job. Good job. Boys, it's your turn. Give me a number. Number 10. Okay. My parents ate nothing for lunch today. Okay, nothing. Are you sure? Yes. Yes? Yes. 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 If you see in this sentence, I don't have negative words, so there's no problem if you if we use nothing. Good job. Girls, go ahead, it's your turn. Seven. Okay. Never. Okay, Susie never gets good grades. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Totally. Very good. This is a similar example. If you see, I don't have negative words here. So easily we can use never. Very good. Okay, it's a tie. Hmm, boys, give me a number. Number one. Okay.
the singer wearing any good this year? Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. teacher. Sure. <laughs> good job. Girls, give me a number. Number four, teacher. My mom wasn't anywhere near the school. Are you sure? Yes. I'm sure. Good job. Okay, boys, give me a number. 11. She did good work. Any, any homework? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, can you repeat? Yes, any. Any. Are you sure? Yes. Ah, ahorita está más fácil lo ve. Al principio de la clase, ahí está, no, teacher, difficult. Clear as a carago, right? But now it's a piece of cake. Aha. Okay, girls, go ahead, give me a number. Girls. Well, which one? 12. 12, okay. He played okay. He played no. no games at the festival. No. No. No games. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Ah, you see, very good job. No sé si que hasta ahorita se hace bien. Yeah. Easy, right? We are the Jonas. That's it. <laughs> okay. She is Gayona. Yeah. She is Gayona. I like yeah. that word. Imagine, imagine a gringo listen the word uh, Gayona and it's like, what? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> okay, boys, give me a number. Go ahead. Number oh. eight. Eight, okay. No. Hmm. The teachers were now here to be found. Nowhere, nowhere. The teachers no, nowhere. were nowhere to be found. Are you sure? Nowhere. Yes. Yes, I'm sure. No. Ah, easy. You are experts in the topic now. Okay, girls, we don't have a lot of time. Give me a number. Three. Three, okay. Any? Any? Aha, very good job. Oh my goodness. Boys, it's your turn. Go ahead. 16. Okay. I've never seen. Never, never. never seen I have never seen a lion in real life. Aha, oh my goodness. So. You are in victors. Zero mistakes. Aha, uh -huh. girls, give me a number. 14. Okay. My brother is no good at art. Are you sure? No. Yes. <laughs> Punto para las gallonas. I like that. <laughs> boys and boys, what is what is the name of your team? You haven't picked an animal. <laughs> Give me a number. Go ahead. Yeah, you are the animals like that. Animals. Eagle. Eagle. Oh, eagle. they are the eagle. Oh. Eagles. <laughs> okay, eagles. Give me a number. Six. Six. Okay. Um, who play any basketball? Any basketball with her broken hand? Any and basketball? And any? Could any? 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 Yes. Yes. So my gosh! Good job. Okay, girls, give me a number. Night. Okay. Any anywhere. 
Are you sure? Yes. yes. Oh my goodness. Okay, boys, this is the last one for you. 13 or 15? 13. 13? Yeah. Okay. Friend, drink anything. anything with breakfast. Anything, are you sure? Yes, anything. Sure. Yes, yeah, yeah. Completely sure. Completely sure. Sure. So my goodness. Okay, girls, if you make a mistake in this one, you lose. Okay, so be careful. <laughs> Any. <laughs> Any. <laughs> are you sure? Sure. Yes. yes. Look at this. <laughs> It was a tie. <laughs> I think that this is the first time that we had a tie in this type of game, <laughs> right? I think that is the first time. Congratulations. Okay, everybody, you see now you are experts in the subject. Good job. So uh, be careful every time that you have a difficult topic. Just remember that. Maybe at the beginning is difficult. But with the practice, and then the topic got easier, all right? So never get frustrated. When you go to the next level, there will be some topics that you might feel like, I, that's difficult, I, I don't understand anything. Yeah, but maybe with the practice and later, it will be easier, okay? So never get frustrated, guys, you can do it. Well, okay. you're a very nice teacher. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad for that. But you are great guys, okay? So keep going. Now, we don't have more time. Any questions before leaving? No, teacher. No, okay, tomorrow. just remember, tomorrow is the last day. And tomorrow we are going to have the survey that Insafor asks. And you remember that that is important to everybody do it. Okay, that is one of the requirements that Insafor ask for you. Don't forget everyone, tomorrow is the last day. Algunos van rosaditos en el límite de asistencia. Si faltan mañana se me quedan, así que be careful con la attendance. Remember, algunos van al límite, así que be careful. Para los que no han terminado la plataforma, tienen hasta mañana para hacerlo. Okay, así que good luck everybody. Take care, have a good night and see you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Bye. See you, bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.